wonderful to see so many of you here today. Glad that you could join for our Earth Buddy webinar. It's great to see so many people here. Um, in today's session, uh, we are going to have a chance to look at some of the exciting updates that have been happening on Sadhguru's journey as it's coming towards the end and uh, share some things that you can do to take action on. And for those that might be joining for the first time, we'll share more with you um, about just what is this movement, this Save Soil movement. So my name is Heather, and I'm a volunteer with Conscious Planet and the Save Soil movement. And I'm excited to be here to share more with you about what's been happening. As we said, um, we think we'll probably take about 35, 40 minutes um, of your time this evening. So hopefully you can stay with us. Um, for those that are new to the Earth Buddy um, we want you to have a chance to really understand what is this safe soil movement. So we have a brief video that we'd like to share with you about the safe soil movement. We are talking about climate change, carbon emissions, and global warming and various other aspects. But we are not addressing soil. Soil is the habitat upon which zillions of lives thrive. Once there is no richness in soil, then you have forsaken the planet in many ways. Every responsible scientist in the world and the UN agencies are clearly saying, we have only eighty to hundred harvests left. That means approximately forty-five to fifty years of agricultural soil left on the planet. By 2045, we will be producing forty percent less food than what we are producing right now and our populations will be 9.3 billion people. The food shortages that could manifest in the next twenty-five years, the consequences of that is unimaginable. Civil wars will unfold across the world once there is food shortage. But what we are facing now is soil extinction. Why is soil becoming extinct? Where is it going away? What is happening to our soil? We must understand, if you add organic content to sand, sand will turn into soil. If you remove all organic content from the soil, soil will become sand. In normal agricultural soil, the minimum organic content should be between three to six percent. The most minimum is three percent. At least this minimum to keep the soil alive, to keep the soil as living soil is a must. Agricultural soils across the world, the depletion is so heavy. In most countries, more than fifty percent of the topsoil is already gone in the last hundred years. The nutrient levels have dropped significantly. The level of micronutrients you would get from your food in early twentieth century to what you are getting from the same food now has dropped ninety percent. If you ate one orange in nineteen twenties, what you got from it, now in twenty twenty, if you have to get the same, you will have to eat eight oranges. This is what we have done to our food. Soil is the biggest ecosystem on the planet and so few people know anything about it. One teaspoon of healthy soil probably contains more microbes than there are people on earth. The microbial life in the first twelve to fifteen inches of topsoil is the basis of our existence. It is this magic beneath our feet which has produced the life that we are. This first twelve to fifteen inches of soil is the basis of life for eighty-seven percent of life on this planet, including you and me. We have to begin to recognize that what we call our soil, Mother Earth, is a living organism. Open soils 
ripped open by plowing, open to sunlight, is the basis of destruction of microbial life. So the focus should be on agriculture, the focus should be on seeing that land is under shade as much as possible. Some kind of shade, grasses, herbs, bushes, trees. Conscious Planet is launching Save Soil Movement to bring about a policy change to regenerate soil. As a part of this, <laughs> I'm sixty-five and I'm riding thirty thousand kilometers a lone motorcycle journey, thirty thousand kilometers across twenty-four nations to activate support from the citizenry to assure the governments long-term investments will be appreciated. So it's extremely important that soil regeneration is enshrined in the policy of every government on the planet. We must change the narrative on the planet that soil is a wealth, a legacy we have received from previous generations and we have to pass it on as living soil for future generations. We are in a cusp of time, if you do the right things now, in the next fifteen to twenty-five years, we can significantly turn this situation around and regenerate the soil. But if we allow this to progress like this for another thirty to forty years, after forty years if we attempt this, then it could take hundred and fifty to two hundred years because that much loss of biodiversity would have happened. From twenty-first of March for one hundred days, the whole world, every human being on the planet should talk soil. We must hear the word soil, save soil everywhere to see that the narrative on the planet changes towards the most vital aspect of our life, the soil. Each one of you should reach as many people as you can to make this happen. Many global leaders and influencers are already participating in the movement. Be a part of this and let us make it happen. From my part, uh, as much as I can contribute, we are going to save the soil. Do your part. And saving the soils. Our future, our children's future, and our planet's future depend on it. Save the soil. We know what we must do, so let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Let's make, let's it, make it happen. happen. Let's, let's make it happen. happen. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. So as you can see, Save Soil is 100% a global movement. It's uh, Sadhguru has been out on the journey since March 21st, um, visiting um, many countries. He has met with global leaders. Uh, he's met with influencers all along the way just to create this buzz about soil, Save Soil. So it is, um, it's happening in such a big way now. The momentum is, is just building and building. Um, he is now beyond the 85th day of his journey, over 30,000 kilometers for this journey. It's just unbelievable um, how it has gone. It's gone so well. So some of you um, probably have been following his journey. If not, uh, there'll be an opportunity for you to catch up on some of the amazing things that have happened along the way. Um, but we are very excited to, to know that in just a week's time, Sadhguru is going to be completing that 100-day journey um, in India. He's in India already now. Um, but we have some highlights that we'd love to share with you about his journey as it started in London on March 21st. And as we said, he's in India now and a few more stops and he's going to be completing that 100 days. But we'd like to share a few highlights of his journey with you now. Sadhguru, you have the ability to change the world for the better. If you want to say, I love you to your child, you must just say, save soil, because it is a more committed way of saying, I love you. It is not about the motorcycle, it's not about the journey, it's not about the song, 
It is about moving people on the planet. Make it happen, huh? Nobody spoke about soil like Sai Guru does. resonated with me the message that we have to save uh, our soil. We as people have to unite and uh, to solve this. This is a celebration of human beings coming together to do what they need to do. Riding on to Italy, Italy is raining heavily tonight. And we are very happy that we are aligned in our message to a really high the profile of soils. I think there, it's a message of urgency, but it's also a message of hope. So I would really like to thank Sagoro for his leadership. An MOU to be signed between Isha Foundation and Four Per Thousand Initiative. We shall all stand up and make the most impact we can to create a real change in the world. This is heartwarming to see everybody come together. The Education Ministry in Germany has now come into the picture officially and asked all the children to do artwork to support Safe Soil Movement. The UNFAO said something which really deeply hurt me is the soil that we are consuming right now belongs not even to these little children, belongs to the unborn child. This is an expression of our love and responsibility for our own lives and the future lives. I love the message that he sent and how he like broadened it that it's everybody's responsibility. I think there is a great potential for a good collaboration, partnership, with the campaign Save the Soil. Sadhguru reminded me that I have a voice. It's an honest expression of his wisdom and love for humanity, I think. This is not for us, this is for him and his generation. Here in Palestine, wonderful to be here. I salute you and I respect your initiative. When it comes to agriculture, when it comes to soil, when it comes to soil ecology, our national borders mean nothing because microorganisms operate as a global system. Dear Sadhguru, 
one of the world's voices and leaders on soil conservation and land in this day and age, having him and uh, having you here is absolutely fantastic and we welcome you. Implementation has to happen on the land and land is not managed by scientists, land is managed by farmers. So it's extremely important, it must be a single point agenda, incentive-based agenda. If inspiration, incentives and disincentives after a certain period of time is the way forward, this is my appeal to every one of you because I don't want this COP15 to end as one more convention with more paper and more paper. This must end with concrete action and action in such a way that is it's implementable. We know how much, you know, you had to do to get here. You left so many things you were doing with it. But you honor the country, you honor the people of this country. Thank you. And on behalf of the head of state, it's my pleasure. <laughs> I want to thank you very much. You know, the most important thing of what I have learned from him is that the most important thing is to live in harmony and peace within yourself. so much for being here with us, Sadhguru, on this wonderful journey. The UAE is partnering with you on Safe Soil, such an important cause. My dear brother Sadhguru, I would like to thank you for including the United Arab Emirates in your inspiring journey. I had a meeting with uh, Sadhguruji somewhere in uh, December, I believe. And uh, the net outcome of that whole thing is that I have earmarked funds to make good of the echo deficit of that particular year. what it means to be back in India. It's a very proud moment to have amidst us the saviour of the soil. लीड ले इसको गुजरात ना तुमने इतने कई सकाय के लीड ले ना गुजरात अन्य में ये इतने बने इतने जड़ब थी यू आर इन गुजरात सिंस टू डेज हमारा गुजरात कैसा लगा आपको People are cool, but the weather is hot. <laughs> Will you promise me in the next hundred years' time, we'll make the weather also cool for future generations?
sure that uh, on this day when it's uh, Rana Pratapji's Jayanti, I happen to be here. I think it's an exceptional uh, movement and I think now it is our responsibility to make sure that we spread that message, pass on that message and actually do something about it on the ground. और पूरी दुनिया में एक नया संदेश देने के लिए सदगुरु जी ने जो ये महाअभियान चलाया है आने वाले समय में हमारी नौजवान नौजवान पीढ़िया आपके इस बताए मार्गदर्शन में चलते हुए मिट्टी बचाने के अभियान को आगे बढ़ाएगी क्या आपकी आवाज और आशीर्वाद मेरे साथ है क्या As uh, the Prime Minister has taken up the Solar Alliance, I think there's an immense opportunity after talking to various leaders around the world, I realize India and the uh, Prime Minister of India could take up the leadership of soil regeneration in India <laughs> and the world. Sadhguru Ji ne jo lambi ye and mehnat wali yatra hai, baik pe, baise unka bachpan se shok raha hai, लेकिन फिर भी काम बड़ा कठिन होता है सदगुरु जी ने यात्रा की अपने आप में बहुत बड़ा काम किया है और मुझे पक्का विश्वास है कि दुनिया को मिट्टी के प्रति स्नेह तो पैदा हुआ ही होगा लेकिन भारत की मिट्टी की ताकत का भी परिचय मिला होगा आप सबको बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं धन्यवाद एज अ कैपिटल सिटी यू हैव अ मोर इंपॉर्टेंट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी देन एनीबडी एल्स विल यू कीप इट अप फॉर द नेक्स्ट फ्यू मंथ टिल दिस पॉलिसी लेट्स मेक इट हैपन और रिवर्स और सेफ सोयल ये दोनों अभियान उत्तर प्रदेश के लिए तो अत्यंत महत्वपूर्ण और प्रेरणादायी हो सकते हैं और मुझे लगता है उत्तर प्रदेश की 25 करोड़ जनता इस पूरे अभियान के साथ जुड़ेगी इसमें कोई संदेह रहना भी नहीं चाहिए बचाओ अभियान हम सभी साथ हैं मैं आपको मध्य प्रदेश की तरफ से मध्य प्रदेश के साढ़े आठ करोड़ जनता की तरफ से मध्य प्रदेश सरकार की तरफ से मैं ये वचन देता हूं कि मिट्टी बचाओ अभियान में आपके पीछे हम कदम से कदम और कंधे से कंधा मिलाकर साथ चलेंगे नियरली मंथ इन द डेजर्ट लैंड first taste of monsoon as we enter maharashtra with a welcome rain
25,406 kilometers to Nashik. Right now, my motorcycle is raining that. So, as you can see, the public and so many global leaders and people are just welcoming Sadhguru and all of the nations that he's visited. So much is, has happened on his journey. As you can see, he's gone through so many different types of climates and weather and, and he still goes on. And, you know, he's, as we said, he's coming towards the end of his journey. Next week, it will be concluding with, on the 100th day on Tuesday, uh, June 21st. So Sadhguru is doing everything he possibly can. So what is it that we can do? You know, how can we support? How can we continue to amplify the message that he's been saying? As you see in these nations, you know, across the globe, they have been amplifying the message, save soil in such a big way. Um, now it's our opportunity and our continued opportunity to do the same here on our soil, on this continent in North America, in Central America, in South America, whatever we can do to also continue uh, that message and make sure everyone hears uh, the movement of safe soil. So as Sadhguru says, uh, we want to ensure that at least 60% of the electorate, those that are eligible to vote in um, various democratic nations, 60%, if 60% of the people are talking safe soil, but that's when the governments will really listen. And that's how we can influence uh, bringing that policy change. And the main policy change that we want to see is that minimum of three to 6% organic content in the soil. And so that's what we're you know, trying to get more and more people talking about safe soil. Um, the latest statistic that I've heard is that uh, 2.5 billion people are, are talking safe soil or have you know, are aware of it now. So that's so wonderful. So we'd like to get to three and a half or four um, billion, then we will really make a difference um, with uh, these countries. Um, but already we have 72 memorandums of understanding that have been signed that they have pledged their support for the Safe Soil Movement. So it's wonderful. So many people are already talking about Safe Soil. So what is it that we can do and how can you participate? Um, and we want to, you know, just see how we can maximize the impact that we're having. Um, I'd like to share my screen with you now. And of course, you, there's many things on the Safe Soil website that you can go and visit. So I would like to share my screen, just point out a few uh, things with you that we can look at together. Okay. So this is our, the, the main site. If you come to ConsciousPlanet.org, um, the Safe Soil site, um, there are many different things here that you can use as resources as an Earth Buddy to continue to, you know, share the message, learn more yourself, so that you can really speak about this Safe Soil, so that you understand what does it mean to bring our soil back from extinction. And we talked about already 52% of the soils have been degreg degraded, and we want to see what we can do to, to bring that um, organic contact content back into the soil. Um, so on the website here, you can see that there are ongoing organizations that are pledging their support. You can follow that. If you want to learn more specifically about the whole movement and the crisis itself, and learn about the impacts that it's having in the various um, different areas, whether that be food crisis or climate change, you can read more and learn more here. But what we would like to point out, just a couple of things, if you come to the events page, you can see Sadhguru's journey. We saw some highlights from his journey. But if you'd like to go back in his journey and see any of the videos and what he had to say in the various places that he had visited, you can go onto this map and follow his journey. And if you missed a particular one, like in Delhi, you can click on that and see that um, some of the highlights if you watch the highlights video. So you can see Sadhguru right now. 
Um, he just finished uh, visiting Hyderabad and he's on his way to, let's see, he's going to be in Cornwall very soon and working his way down to Kombatur. So on the 21st of June, that's where he will conclude his 100 day uh, journey of 30,000 kilometers. So it's just unbelievable. So we here, what can we do? So the big event, I'm sure some of you have heard, and if not, we want to make sure that you're aware of it, the walkathon. So that's something that's happening here. And the walkathon um, is an opportunity for us to also show our support. You know, Sadhguru's gone so many miles on his motorcycle. How many, you know, steps can we take to also bring more awareness towards Save Soil? So the Save Soil Walkathon is happening this Father's Day weekend coming up um, in many, many places um, here in North America and South America and Central America. And you can find an event that's happening close to you. So you can. Go down on this page, the walkathon page, see a little bit more this Father's Day weekend. Um, over 60 cities have said that they're coming together. And as far as we know, this is one of the first times that we've had simultaneous walkathons happening all towards the one cause. So it's um, very exciting for us to come together and be able to show our support. And the more of us that are out there, the more awareness we can create, the greater buzz here on our soil so that more people will become aware of this movement. So you can go to this page and find the closest walkathon that's close to you. Um, or if you know people in other areas, these are all the places that uh, are having walkathons this weekend or the following weekend. And if you know people in any of these places, please do what you can to spread the word. This is one of the biggest things that we can do right now is we want to make sure that everyone knows and everyone joins these uh, walkathons that are happening. So if we're looking in the United States, you can see all the various states that are having walkathons. You can scroll through here, look, think of all your family and friends in other places and share it with them. That's definitely something that we can do. Um, and it's an actually you would register on the Eventbrite page. So once you would select a particular city, registration actually happens through the Eventbrite platform. So you would register here. If you have children that are under 18, you can register them as well. And then there's the details of the when and where. The timings are a little bit different in each particular region. So you can look for that. There's more information. So if you're sharing with someone for the first time, and inviting them to this. There's some great information here that makes it easy. Um, has pulled out some of the highlights that we've looked at and talked about tonight. You can also share that as well. So then the specifics for your particular event that you would be attending that and the map of where you're walking, you can check that out on that particular page. So um, we encourage you if you are registering for the event to either bring a soft copy, you know, have it on your phone or bring a paper copy so that when you come and check in for registration, you can um, go through pretty quickly and be there and ready for the event. Um, if you have a, a Safe Soil t-shirt or a hat or anything, please definitely wear that. We want people to be in those colors, you know, green or blue, or you could wear a white or green shirt. If you don't have a Safe Soil t-shirt, um, you can just come with a, a plain shirt and they'll give you a sticker to wear on your t-shirt so that you can also, you know, be wearing the Safe Soil as you're walking in the walk as well. There won't be a Safe Soil merchandise available at the actual walkathons, but if you wish to purchase something, you could do it ahead of time. I'm not sure it would reach you in time before this weekend, but certainly, you know, we want, this isn't the end of uh, sharing about uh, Safe Soil. So uh, see what you can do to in any way, you know, just share with everyone that you know about the movement. So again, the walkathons are this coming weekend, but a few cities are also having them um, the following weekend on the 25th or 26th. So you can look and see when those are happening in your area. Again, there's many, many resources here on the website. If you click on the resources tab, you'll see that, you know, the daily activities that are there, of what you can do to amplify the message in social media, um, there's the toolkit, so many different things uh, that you can do. So if you haven't uh, explored, just uh, you can really get lost in the Save Soil website and find so many wonderful things to help educate yourself and share with others. Um, so what I'd like to do now is give you an opportunity to ask any questions that you might have. 
and we can look at some of those things together and come back over. So please, if you would like to type in the chat, share any questions that you have. If you have anything that you're thinking about or wondering about, or if you're involved with the walkathon, how many of you are registered already for the walkathon? A walkathon in your area. Have you found one happening? That's wonderful that we have people that are, are signing up. I think that we have, we've crossed um, over a thousand people in the United States, I think. Um, and I think that also includes Canada um, up to uh, 10,000. Um, we'll have to look at the numbers, but every day they're increasing um, all over. We have some cities that I think are, are close to 500 right now. So it's really exciting to see so many people coming out in support of Safe Soil. So I hope that you have also been inspired by all of the the um, updates that we've been able to share with you today. Um, I'm not seeing any more questions specifically coming up, but I can just share with you, you know, my experience this um, this past week. It's been quite a buzz. You know, we've been doing so much in my particular city that I'm in. We met with the mayor this week and the mayor proclaimed Save Soil Day, which was very exciting. And we got to share with the city council and mayor all about Save Soil. Um, we, you know, are out flyering. Volunteers are just so excited to be out and about. So if you've been watching social media, we've seen dinosaurs on Times Square sharing about Save Soil, um, <laughs> making the making people more aware that, you know, yes, dinosaurs have been extinct. We don't want to see our soil become extinct. So it's, it's exciting, all of the creative and fun ways that people have been sharing about this to make more and more people aware of Safe Soil. So I hope that you continue to be um, out there and talking about Safe Soil and using our voices and making sure more and more people know about it, um, whether that be small children or, you know, people that um, are your age or, or much older. We, it, it matters because as Sadhguru said, it's a legacy that we want to leave for the generations that have yet to come, that they have soil that will be able to sustain their lives and the lives beyond their own. So um, it's something that is more than just an important thing for us to do. It's really our responsibility to take this up and make sure that everyone is also are also aware of it as well. So we need that policy change to happen in order for it to really make a difference um, in order for it to be something that will be sustainable beyond even the time that we're here. Uh, so, you know, we can do great things, but we want to ensure that they stay in a way that is going to support um, healthy soil for all of those generations. And only with a policy in place will we be able to make that happen. So that's why we're wanting everyone to be talking about it and ensuring that those that are in the position to be able to make a change, that they know um, what is needed to make that happen. And, you know, already having 72 Memorandums of understanding, that's wonderful. We need all of the nations to also be joining that as well. So this is our opportunity. While Sadhguru hasn't been, you know, driving his motorcycle here um, on this continent, we have the obligation this weekend uh, to go out and, and joyfully, you know, be able to walk and make sure that more people know about his journey and the message that he's taking so that the leaders in this continent um, on this side of the world also are aware and become part of the movement. So thank you all for coming and being part of this this evening. If there aren't any other questions, we have one video uh, to share with you. That's a, it's fun with a, a, we'll end with a song and hopefully you can um, take that message and go and share with others. And we hope that you'll all be able to make it out to uh, one of the walkathons this coming weekend. Thank you. La, 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 la. La 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 This very body is soil. My body, your body, everybody is just soil body.
magic of soil is it turns death into life. Depleted soils will not quench the fire of hunger. Unquenched hunger can burn the very world. This is a generational responsibility. Save soil, let's make it happen. <laughs>